So welcome to this first tutorial on the Bernina version 8 software. We're going to be looking at the, um, the new uh, feature called Global Effect Design. And generally speaking, uh, there are so many fabulous things to be talked about with this software, but I do want to talk a couple of things that really hit me right between the eyes when I saw the software. First of all, I love the fact that the user interface is very similar to V7 software. So if you're coming from V7, the learning curve is not steep at all. And you'll find uh, many old friends in, in the same places as far as the tools are concerned. One of the features I do want to talk about, however, is um, the hoops. And uh, in the hoops, uh, we can get to that by this icon up here. If I, if I right click on it, this brings me up a dialogue. And what I want to point out that what we have now in V8 software is the hoops are organized per machine. So as you can see here, I have the Bernina 8 series, which is of course the fabulous 880 and the 830. And when I click on the um, dialogue here for the hoops, you can see I'm not greeted by a long list of various hoops from all manufacturers. It is just the hoops that are specific to this machine. Now, if you are not an owner of a Bernina machine, say for instance, if you were an owner of a Husqvarna Viking, let's go down to Viking and let's look at the Diamond Deluxe. Uh, what I have here now are all the hoops that we have for this nice machine as well. So I like the fact that uh, I'm not searching through manufacturers that um, I currently do not have, and it's very much more direct. So I'm gonna go back to the uh, eight series. Notice also, by the way, we do have the hoops for the uh, 16 needle multi-needle machine as well. So I'm gonna have the uh, eight series and I'm gonna be looking at the um, probably the large oval today. So large oval I'll select. Notice also there is now a separate dialogue for the foot. And so I can choose which foot am I using with this particular design. And it's important to have that as a consideration because it does change the, the legal real estate you have in the hoop. So a bigger foot results in a smaller embroidered field. So to tell the software what foot you're gonna have on, helps you design so things stay in the hoop. So I have my foot number 26 for the Bernina 830 and it's the large oval hoop and I'm gonna say okay. And here we have the, um, have the hoop. So um, one of the things I will show is that uh, when we're gonna create a uh, rectangle for instance, it's, it's done the same way as we've done before. So it's, it's a left click, it's a drag, it's a click and it's an enter. And here we have the um, the hoop, uh, excuse me, I should say the fill. And as if I zoom in here, you're gonna see I have a particular pattern here. Um, purpose of this is to show the, the, new, uh, the new tool, this, this global effect tool. And this generally works with the, uh, with the pattern runs. Uh, before I get to that, I have to take another detour because it's another great feature of the software. And what I would like to show you is I'm just gonna select this and I'm gonna tell the software that I would like to, to zoom this to fit so it's up close and personal. And when I go into my fill dialog, one thing I do wanna show, um, let me just go into here. Do you notice, once again, we have the different step patterns and there's 30 of them here, but notice this, we have now a realistic view of what the stitching is gonna look like as opposed to what we had before, which was kind of a um, um, stick figured cartoon of just the needle point. So having this more realistic like this definitely helps me choose uh, the fills with greater ease. I'm gonna go back out of this and come back into where we have our pattern fill. And when I click on this, when I go under the select, I'm greeted with this dialogue and you may recall from uh, version six and version five, this is how we viewed our, um, our, our pattern fills. But now from version seven, as well as in version eight, we have true view. So again, more realistic and much easier to see, of course. And so let's go into Bernina version uh, five category, and we're gonna go ahead and select maybe this, uh, the heart fill. And uh, I'll say, okay and I'll not change anything about that and just say okay to that as well. And now I have this series of uh, hearts that are filled into the square. 
So with this selected, what I'd like to do is turn on the global effect. And when you first see that, you go, oh, that's, that's kind of interesting. It, I can see there's a change, but wait, there's more. If you go under the, um, the reshape tool, what this gives us now are reshape nodes. And this is what it comes in as default for the, um, for the software. So if I grab hold of here and I pull this in like this, and I pull this side in like this, you can see now I can actually reshape that, reshape that fill, which is kind of cool. If I was gonna get really crazy, and who wouldn't, I could actually grab hold of these nodes and reshape this. Now this is currently a square node, but if I hit the space bar, look what I just did as I turned it into round nodes. So if I do this for each of the corners, I'm now getting a circle within a circle, and it's all 3D fun goodness. So, hope that excites you. It certainly did me, and look forward to seeing you in the next video.